In this video clip, Bronkhorst, manufacturer of the world's smallest Coriolis flow meters, presents the mechanism of a Coriolis mass flow meter from the Mini Cori Flow series. The video also explains how the flow can be adjusted quickly and precisely through the combined use of a Coriolis mass flow meter and a gear pump. A Bronkhorst Mini Cori Flow instrument requires a voltage of between 15 and 24 volts. When the supply voltage is connected, the LEDs show the current status. The instrument is ready for use when the green LED lights up. Inside the robust Mini Cori Flow housing are the digital electronics, optical sensor and sensor tube. The internal diameter of the sensor ranges from 0.25 mm to 3.1 mm. Once the power source is connected, the sensor tube immediately begins to vibrate. This vibration, which has been slowed down considerably in the video, is generated by energizing two actuators alternately, thereby creating a magnetic field. The vibrational frequency of the tube varies depending on the instrument type, but is in the region of 370 Hz. All Coriolis instruments are equipped with a sensor tube, which can be used to measure both gases and liquids extremely accurately. The optical sensor precisely measures how much the vibration deviates. A signal is then transmitted to the digital electronics, which translate the measured vibrational value into a mass flow value, and compares this to the set point from a PC, PLC or analog port. If the measured value is different from the set point value, the integrated PID controller adjusts the speed of the pump in order to generate the correct output. This adjustment occurs in a fraction of a second. The hood of the pump, which is available in stainless steel or Hastalloy, conceals two gears which sit underneath. The space between the cogs is filled with liquid. The speed of the pump depends upon the required flow. The advantage of a gear pump is that it has considerable range. Moreover, these pumps have a low pulse generating capacity and their maintenance, if required, is relatively simple. The gear pump makes it possible to raise the pressure and induce liquid to flow through the flow meter.